point. And now, the moment you've been waiting for all week long, you hear him every day at 9 a.m. and noon, but now you get a whole hour. It's the Bill Cochran Show on Tampa Bay's Tan Talk Radio Network. And now, with the Only in America Minute, here's your host, Bill Cochran. Well, he's back. He's back in the news again. He's back in the news again. This time, he's threatening lawyers. Lawyers. I mean, the man's got dementia. The man is sick, and he's worth billions of dollars. Who do you guess I'm talking about? I'll give you a little hint. He's out on the West Coast, L.A., California. Take a guess. No, it's not the horse. Not California Carome. He kind of, you know, is back out in the pasture. I don't think he won. Actually, I shouldn't have said what I said. I should have said I didn't know if he'd win. But I was so sure this horse won. I did a little research before that. But I didn't research enough. I never realized they brought fresh horses in to these races. I never thought that Kentucky boys would stoop so low as to send a horse, a fresh horse named Mr. T, into that race against my horse, America's horse, your horse, California Carome. But California Carome is getting ready for the November Breeders' Cup out there in California. California Carome, America's horse. Now we got another horse. A horse, you guessed it, Donald Sterling is back in the news. He is going to sue everybody. Everybody, America. You know, let's get on the bandwagon. Let's just sue everybody. You know, we got a good case, especially against Washington. Think about it. The Only in America Minute. Weekdays at 9 and noon, and right now on Tampa Bay's Tan Talk. Uh, good evening, Cedric. How are you? Howdy. How are you today? I see you're working hard, eating pizza. What I'm kind of pizza so you got hard, in there? It's, uh, it's supreme. West it's Shore? Supreme yeah, it makes West your voice Shore. sound a little better. You Does know, it? Sound, yeah, you're Helps with the honest talking voice. about food trucks this week, and you know there's a lot of people out there making money in America. It's a hard thing to do today because... It just gets harder and harder and harder. And we're going back to Iraq. Can you believe we're going back to Iraq? Wow. I can't believe it. Iraq. We're going back 300. Could you imagine being those 300 advisors? Hey, that's how Vietnam started back in the 50s. We sent advisors over there. So now we're going back. What are we going to advise these people we've been around for all these years? But I know one thing. The gas prices are going up. You know? Oh, I love that song. Yeah, my girlfriend's name is Candy. <laughs> is she listening? Candy. I hope so. This goes out to you, Candy. Do a... Uh, oh, shoot. I can't think of his name already. Who was the guy who just died? Oh. The DJ. Oh, Casey Kasem. Yeah, Casey Kasem. Do a Casey, Casey Kasem style. Casey. Well, I just want to sit back and listen to this song. You know, I'm over here in the nursing home and... Poor Can- guy. Candy? Poor guy. What a, what a, what a, this song goes out to you from goes, Bill. Goes out to you. Yeah, that, you've got a good prepare. Hey, he's here. Casey's here. When'd you get here, Casey? Well, I just got in on the flight with Imus. <laughs> Imus? No, no. We, no Imus, we, you know, he, he, we got to lay low with Imus because, you know, we don't want to give that away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen to this song. Mine. It's my birthday this weekend, June 22nd. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, I'm a cancer. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to get America's you. America's a cancer, too. July 4th. The whole country's a cancer. I'm going to have to get you something for your birthday. Well, I didn't that's know. all right. You know. When is it again? I got her. Sunday. 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 Are you coming in on Sunday? Sunday. Yeah, I'll probably be here. Right, I'm going I'm to get you something. I'll probably be here. Anybody out there in listening land, you know, you can bring cards, notes, <laughs> checks, whatever checks. you want. We're looking checks. for sponsors of this show. I've been on the radio for almost three months. I still don't have a sponsor. I pay all this out of my hard-earned money, and I'm running out. I'm running low like everybody else. You know, I was doing good when the gas prices were going down because I drive a pretty big car. That thing burns a lot of gas. Cost me a lot of money just to get up here. But, you know, I'm from the old school. I don't think I'll ever conform to this new age today that we live in. You know, I can't be like Cedric, you know. I can't... (laughs) That was a good song. What? I love that song. That's one of my you favorite. You can't be like me, what? 
Well, you're you're used to this new age, you know. Is I'm not it, used to it. Yeah, well, what what do you, what do you do? What can we do about it? Do we have any? Um, you know, can we start a talk show and change the world or not? I think we send all of the uh, all the. Uh, they say that all these illegal immigrants coming across the border have diseases, all these infectious diseases. Yeah, we just ship them to D.C. I think you said that a while back. Well, I don't know if we should ship them anywhere, but back to where they came from because they. You know, if they're illegal, why are they allowed to stay in this country? My my grandfather came through Ellis Island, and they had to get um, go through that. Why is it different today? That's what I'd like to know. I mean, have you seen it change in your short life? I mean, you're only in your late twenties, but what have you seen change the most, Cedric? Uh, everything's expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to watch what you say because if you say the wrong thing, you can get in big trouble. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Mostly the inflation. Inflation. Mostly the inflation. Everything's expensive, and I can't believe how expensive it is. And you know, there's people shooting people like crazy. I mean, every week you hear about a shooting, even though the gun uh, rights activists, uh, you know, they get their way in Chicago, and there's more murders in Chicago now than there's ever been. We don't hear about it. I mean, we've got an administration that's very quiet, very cool, very... I guess, I guess they just think you and I are kind of... Um, out of touch with uh, out of touch with everything, you know, in this in this uh, country today. It's a shame because, um, you know, I grew up in a, in a in an age when, you know, we went through the nuclear. Um, I told you this before we went in the 60s. We were we were afraid of nuclear war. We used to have fallout shelters in the cities and we, we were scared. But we knew that our country was strong enough and smart enough and diplomatic enough to be able to keep the peace in the world. And, you know, we went through some crazy wars, but, you know, this war now in Iraq. I mean, what are you going to do in Iraq? What can you do in Iraq? What can 300 people, why send 300 more special forces over to Iraq? I mean, those men, those women, whoever they are, are already being threatened. What are you going to do, President? What are you going to do, Mr. President, when something happens to them if it does? We're a country of faith we pray we come from all different religions we can't change that society over there in iraq we can't you know we've got enough oil here in this country to move the cars and the trucks and the airplanes and the trains across this planet for the next thousand years and we're going back to iraq why don't you go back mr president why don't you go back over there, Mr. Kerry, and maybe send Hillary over there. Maybe John Boehner ought to go back. Maybe Eric Cantor ought to go back. Maybe all the House of Representatives who have the lowest poll, 7%. Could you imagine having a job and only 7% of the people in this country like you? Why is that? Is that our fault? I always respected the president. I always respected the office of the president. I always thought a congressman was somebody that was set apart. I always thought that a senator was the elite of the country. But today, it's changing. When you make mistakes like sending 300 advisors over to Iraq, it's not going to work, Mr. President. Don't send them. Don't send them. Please don't send them. Think about it. Yeah, I like that song. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. I was trying to cheer you up a little bit. Well, I'm still cheerful. I just don't want to see those 300 people go over there and get caught. Then we got 300 more hostages over there to deal with. Who are we going to trade next for, to get them back? I mean, we sent some of the worst uh, terrorists in the world. We just gave, gave them away last week. I mean, what, look at what happened last week. Every week there's something different going on in, in the administration. And it just gets worse. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to cheer up. I, do I sound um, uncheerful? It is my birthday. You know, I don't, I'm not real happy. I'm getting older, you know. It's too bad we didn't get younger as we grew older. <laughs> grew younger. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, yeah. There's a story about that. 
Maybe um, maybe you ought to see if Bob's is Bob you calling. Want me to call Bob? Well, Bob, uh, if he's he, he might, hasn't he called might, in, he yeah. might call in or one of them. It, um, play that song, Big Girls Don't Cry, number ten. If you got it, uh, well, I got number ten on my uh, shot here. Another going out to the to the um, the uh, Four Seasons. That movie starts tonight. That movie, uh, oh, the Jersey Boys. Yeah, the Jersey Boys starts tonight in Frankie Valley, and this is another song comes out of the '60s. Back when uh, songs were songs, as far as I'm concerned, and if you have that song queued up, we'll we'll play it in a second. Uh, Big girls don't cry. Tonight's Four Seasons night, and if you want to go out to a movie tonight, I suggest you go up to um, maybe Countryside if you can afford twelve bucks for a movie. Probably cost you ten bucks to get there, depending on what kind of car you're going to drive. But hey, it's only money. What are you going to do? You know, I keep talking about this gasoline up in North Dakota. I keep talking about it, but I don't know if anybody's listening. There's things going on up there. You know, if I was Cedric's age, I'd get in a car. I'd get in my Saturn, and I'd take my family with me, and I'd stake a claim out there because they got truck drivers making over $100,000 a year. Truck drivers. And the unemployment rate in North Dakota is only 2%. 2%. Who'd ever imagine? Unemployment rate is going up in Florida. It's it's up again in Florida. What happened, Governor Scott? You're too worried about your campaign. I mean, you're running against Charlie Crist. I mean, if you can't beat him, you can't beat anybody because this guy is way off track. You know, I wish I could have him in here, both of them, and do a little debate here. Cedric could be the moderator. Cedric, what would you ask Charlie Crist if you were? Oh, oh I'd probably. <laughs> what would you ask him? Cedric, Cedric would probably wonder because, you know, Charlie is from St. Petersburg, I believe, isn't he? he? Is. Isn't and he from St. Pete? We, we supported him when he was uh, when he was a rep- uh, conservative Republican. I did like, too. I supported him like too. But fifteen why'd he, years ago, why did he change? You know, now he's working for Mor- Morgan and John Morgan. He's working. For John Morgan, who sues uh, everybody and his brother <laughs> and his brother. We got Bob on the line. Oh, good. But, but oh, to answer your question, that's what I'd ask him. I'd ask him about switching. Uh, Switching from Republican to Democrat. Yeah, what do you think? And if, he, he, and if what, he has plans to switch back to Republican at some point later when it's more what, politically expedient. What do you think he'd tell you? Uh, I'm sure he'd dodge it somehow. Hey, do we have that song, Rocket Man? Because I got a space. I got a. Do we have Rocket Man with Elton John? I've got a. Um, I've got an astronaut on the phone. Well, I, actually, now was he actually an astronaut? I thought he was just a. a you a, talk to him, a, Cedric. A, 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 ask him a couple of your questions from your youth. You know, give him a qu- couple questions. You know, are you a real astronaut? <laughs> no, I was just a kid, just a kid on the street. Bob, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've been telling everybody you're an astronaut. <laughs> you know, now everybody's nobody's going to believe me anymore. I mean, we're not supposed to lie on radio. Oh, okay. That was just a fib. But you're 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 probably more of an astronaut at heart, right? Yes, at heart, Cedric, ask him a couple questions, or ask him at least two questions. You know, this is Cedric. He's my twenty-nine-year-old. Okay. He's the he's the youth of America. You know, he's who's coming up behind us, Bob. Well, I hope so. We need it. We need him. Help we can get. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I I, I, I can't think. You, you put me on the oh, you spot. You can't think of you a put question. me on space. the spot. But, well, I was I was asking him if he's a legitimate astronaut. You said he was an astronaut. Are we go? Are we going to go to Mars or not? <laughs> Well, I think they're sending people to Mars. No, you, that's what you think, but that's not true. See, that's what you get when you listen to the Washington establishment. All right. Well, here we go. Why aren't, why aren't we going to Mars? Well, because there's not enough effort being put forth to begin with, and plus they don't have a real plan. They just have a, a – it's, it's all a smoke and mirrors. You know, the truth of the matter is that NASA really doesn't have a plan mm. to, eat, not, to even get people in the space, let alone uh, back to Mars. Or back to the moon or Mars, they just don't have enough money in the plan to do it. Yeah. And it's uh, it'll slip one year every year for the next twenty years. Mm-hmm. But what they do is they tell you that and, and make it makes them sound good, and then you don't bother with them anymore because you think they've uh, they got it covered, but they don't. Yeah, and it's too bad. It's, they you know they just it's too bad. He's mis- misled, mis- misled the American people. They they do, and it seems like every every day we're getting misled. What what about what do you think the press will be like when Cedric's our age? Well, it's, it's, it's <laughs> or probably, your age, it probably won't change much. I mean, probably won't. Probably, most of the people in the media, you know, grow up in in liberal uh, societies, and so they're most of liberal. 
Right, right. But they don't understand economics. They they don't take economics courses. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, you can't have a debt of seventeen point five trillion dollars uh, and uh, and uh, to survive. It's it's just not going to work. Right, right. Well, so, you know, the people that come after us, like Cedric, are going to be screwed. Right, right. Well, they don't, you know, they, they don't believe that. I mean, they, they, you know, I think they're starting to see it a little more because so many things are happening right well, now, you know. And just, just think about how much debt the $17 trillion is. Yeah. I mean, every, every family in the United States owes $50,000 or more. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of money. It is. And, and, and it's going to put a drag on the uh, economy, so... You'll end up, you won't grow fast enough to... Uh, hey, Cedric, turn yeah. that. I can hear that in here, whatever oh, you're doing okay. in there. I can't hear him. Um, yeah, I know, Bob. What What about, um, let me ask you this. Do you, um, how many employees worked over at uh, Cape Canaveral when it was in first full swing? How many? Oh, less than 17,000 probably. And how many were there when, when our, our president shut it down? Uh, well, they, they, when they shut down the... Uh, the Discover the uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, shuttle. Yeah, uh, there must have been probably ten thousand. Ten thousand people now, went. Now, now, where did they? Where do you think they all went to SpaCX, yeah. or, or where do you think all uh, those? A few did, but not many. Uh, most of them actually uh, either retired or went on uh, unemployment. Now, wasn't he the president that said he was going to create jobs for people? Well, yeah, but you know, he, I mean, he, he, he didn't do it. He didn't. No, that was just one little example of, of the, you know, even with the stimulus package, you think that they could have thrown some of that money towards that space program, you know, of instead course. of shutting it down like of he course, did. Of you know, they, they gave GM all that money. They, they gave so many other people money, uh, businesses money, and yet, yeah. yet he's supposed to be... I mean, you know, I don't just blame him because, like you say, it is the established uh, government we've got today. You know, yeah, yeah and that's yeah. that's a that's a shame. I don't hear the dog barking tonight. Where's, no, she's quiet tonight. You got her tied up, or yeah, right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I. Okay. You got anything else you want to you want to humor us with? It's my birthday on uh, Sunday, so we're oh, we're wow, looking for cool. we're looking for cards and cake and whatever you want to send us. <laughs> Down here at the station. Well, I'll get you my Corvette. Okay. Nah, well, I'd like to drive it at least. I, I couldn't afford to put the gas in that. I already got a, a gas gas guzzler, you know. The way the price of gas is jumping right now, I, I just don't, you know, I don't I don't think it's going to go down anymore now, right. now that we're in Iraq, that thing. No, that's, 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 it's going to level off at where it is now anyway. I can't figure out why we don't, you know, try to, you know, we've always talked about our own energy in, independence in this country, but, you know, it seems like every year it gets worse. So yeah. anyway, oh, well. but anyway, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll end it on some good news. Um, at least the sun's shining. It is. It is. Okay. Say hello to your wife and I'll, I'll, I'll see you next Thanks, week. Please. Thanks a lot, Bob. Take okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, I couldn't hear. I was. I couldn't hear him. Something. Maybe it's mine. Maybe it's this here working. Uh okay. we got uh we got Rob. Rob, not your Rob. This is our Rob. Oh, Rob. Hey, Rob. Rob. We got to play another hey, four Bill. seasons too. Hey, Rob. How you doing? Pretty good. Bill, go Germany in the World Cup soccer. You like the four seasons or not? You like the yeah. f go Germany? Yeah. I, I Germany thought I thought Mexico Brazil. was going to win it all. Isn't Mexico favored? Yeah. Uh, Germany's favorite. Oh, Germany? Okay. Well, good. I got my girlfriend's yeah. German, so that's good. Yeah, I, I hope German does win. That would so be Bill, good. We, I, I didn't think... We just have on 10 talk. I didn't know they could play soccer in Germany. They play... Yeah, they play soccer in Germany, Bill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else you got? Any other sports? Any, what about the Rays? What happened to our Rays there? The Rays report. Oh, the Rays, they ain't no good, Bill. <laughs> they're New York Yankees. They're a Yankee fan? Well, they're not doing too yep. good either, are they, right now? The Yankees no, are fact, down. They, they just swept Toronto. Yeah. You got any pizza, you got any pizza to forget giveaways tonight, Bill? Yeah. No, but if you come down here in the next... He's got a pizza. Yeah, if you come yeah. down here, I'll give you a slice of Supreme slices Pizza. Of pizza. Yeah, you sound like somebody that uh, could use slice a couple pizza slices. <laughs> pizza. Where? Pizza. We what? got it, we got it from uh, Domino's. Oh no, no, West Shore, West, West, West Shore, West Shore. Uh, Cedric, you're the man. West the, Shore Pizza. They're not a sponsor. I shouldn't mention. No, that. we shouldn't. No, they got to be a sponsor. But we got. Right. Did you pay for the pizza? Yeah, of course. Oh wow, that's no good. What's I'm, the matter, West I'm Mr. Shore? I'm Mr. Moneybag. Hey, West Shore. Give me some money. <laughs> All right, I'll give you some money. 
All right. Okay, thank you. All right. Great show tonight, Bill. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Robert. You have See a great weekend. Rob. Bob. See Rob. you, Bob. Rob. Rob. Hey, have a good Rob. weekend. Rob. 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 Okay. Done. Take care. Mm-hmm. Walk like a man. Uh, we can send this song out, too. Walking like a man. Uh, this is the Four Seasons Night. Plugging that movie tonight. Jersey Boys, Clint Eastwood directing it. Now, is it opening tonight? Opens tonight. So yeah. you haven't seen it yet? Not yet. Oh, but wow. I'm going to see it tonight, I think. Really? I think. Cool. I hope. I hope. If it's not full, it might be full. Get out there early. Hey, maybe we get Cobb Movie Theaters as a sponsor. Huh? Free ticket? Yeah, I'll tell tickets. them I plugged them tonight. We'll get some free tickets. We can give them and, away on the show. Yeah, talk radio. What do you like the best about talk radio there, Cedric? Well, I like it that, uh, you know, if you listen to the music side, the FM side, you know, you hear the same 30 songs. I get tired of hearing them, you right, know. Right, I don't get tired of hearing the same 30 songs you play. Yeah, well, I'm, I like, pl- I'm Well, playing. you don't hear these songs on the radio. That's true. You know? That's true. Well, I love this song. Who is that? Bobby Darren. Bobby Darren. Bobby Darren. You know, where's the plane? <laughs> Still, it's beyond the sea. Where's that plane? They said that they, they thought they found it again. They, did, they, pulled, they brought the story back out. Oh. They trotted it out again last week and said, we think we found the plane this time. I thought you said it was over in Pakistan or something. Well, I've, I've suspected that it's probably landed on some remote island in the Indian Ocean somewhere. What about the pilot? Where is he? Uh, he's either dead or has a big bag full of money. <laughs> oh, jeepers. They're still, you know, CNN was on on that story for so long. The ratings were coming back. But I don't know what story <laughs> they're talking about now. What's, what's I new? watched I watched CNN when they were doing all that. And yeah. they, they asked they asked uh, some woman from the FAA or the NTSB if it was possible that the plane had been uh, hijacked by space aliens. Well, maybe it was. That <laughs> could have been. Do you believe in space aliens? I, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I've never seen one. I bet you there's people that do. Anybody want to call us? 727-441-3000. That's a good topic. You know, we got a topic, space aliens. If you get here in the next half hour, right. you get a slice of supreme pizza. Right. 727-441-3000. We're giving out money. It's a guy giving out money down in St. Pete. He's sticking it up in palm trees. You're going to look for any of that money, Cedric? It might, you I think might... I already got some of it. Oh, you did? All I'm right. not sure. It's up in a palm tree. He had some in a garbage can. Al Lopez Stadium, where is that? That's down in St. Pete. Is that a good section, good area? I don't know. Would you go there at night, late, with the dog? Uh, I, I, I'm not afraid. They, they know me down there. What do they play there? What, who plays? Is that, that's where they um, used to have spring training for somebody there. I don't, do they still? You don't even know. I'm you're, looking, I'm you're looking, looking it up, it up right now. Yes, that's the beautiful thing about computers. Oh, Al Lopez Field that yeah. says that's... Uh, St. Pete, right? No, it says it's in Tampa. Oh, Tampa. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, Oh, it's like right across from, uh, yeah, it's right across from the, the where the Bucks play. Oh, well, that's where some of the money was. Al, big Al, Al uh, Lopez. There's some big, uh, there's some big palm trees. Uh, that would be a, a high way to climb. Yeah, yeah, I like that song. Good song choice, Cedric. Oh, thank you. You pulled that right out of the out of the sky, right? Thinking of that airplane. I pulled it right out of the sea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his- Hudson River. I like the Hudson River. You know, people from Texas, they can have the Rio Grande. You know, there's Swanee River. There's the Mississippi River. Mississippi River, what a big river. But I'll tell you one thing. Tom Sawyer, when he went down that river, I don't know what he was thinking. You know, Huckleberry Finn went after him. They took the, what was his name, Jim? Jim? Yeah. Well, we can't say the word no. anymore because... But it's still in the book. Yeah, it you is. You know, we read those books when we were kids, and, and you wonder. It was the most popular book in school when I was a kid. I read it four or five times, but I liked Huckleberry Finn much oh, better. You know? Oh, Amazing. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I, I can say what his name is. Oh. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> why... My Why were we taught that for so many years at school books? I mean, what happened today? Look at what they're reading today in school. They read about the Holocaust. They read about the all these crazy books that are in school today that they're making kids read. And 
Huckleberry Finn was innocent. You know, as far as I'm concerned. You know, we had Shirley Temple back then. Shirley Temple. You know, we had Mr. Ed. California Chrome's buddy. <laughs> Mr. Ed, you know. Most people don't want to go back. You know, I was listening to Rush Limbaugh today, and he said he doesn't want to sound like an old fogey and talk about back then. Why not? He's writing kids' books now. He's writing kids' books about the revolutionary time. The, re the Paul Revere, I mean, that's way back there, Rush. And you don't want to talk about when you were growing up? Come on, Rush. Talk about it. Think about it. That was the greatest era, and we're still breathing. None of them back in Paul Revere's day are still breathing. We gotta do something with this country. If we don't, if we don't, there's not gonna be any more Moon Rivers. There's not gonna be any Mississippi Rivers. There's not gonna be any Rio Grande, and I think that river's already finished anyway. I mean, look at who's coming across it. By the busload. By the busload. Think about it. I shouldn't have scolded Rush, you know. He's one of my heroes, but there's a lot of other people I could rather He's... talk about. But he did say that today on his, on his show. He doesn't want to talk about when he was... What? You should. Younger people need to hear about that era. My father came out of the Depression era, and that was a tough era for people. Oh, here's a great... This is Darren's song. We should call Darren. Oh, I didn't give that cross his number off. Yeah. I, I thought I had too many numbers. There. What, 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 what's, what's uh, I'll give going you, on with I'll give you his number. I, I got it. You got his number. Yeah, I call, can read it. Call Darren, and when you get him on there, turn that song up wide so he like, blast in his air. Hey, we'll just call him. Yeah, I'll give just, him a call. I'll call him on the air. Hang on. Call him. Call him. If he he, he might answer. He's down in Texas. He's down at the Rio Grande, and we'll get a little report down on the gasoline gas prices. They're going up, people. Going up. Any other people want to call? 727-441-3000. All right, we're dialing. Dan Talk, Clearwater. 441-3000. area code. Dan Talk. Radio. Talk radio. Talk radio. You get them? You it's call. ringing. Oh. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed. As 843 <sighs> Eight four three. Uh, no, don't tell us. That's, that's I'll stuff. get it. That's all. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he didn't pay his phone bill. I'll get it. All right. Uh, I don't really like that song that much, but pretty good song. But. <laughs> What's your favorite song? The old era. You got a favorite song from the old era? Yeah, from the <laughs> from the from the, from the ancient, from the dinosaur age. I have to think about it. See if he answers. He might not answer. Uh oh, who's this? Well, if he knows it's you. If he know does it say me? My name? Yeah. Hello? Hey Darren. Hey, you're hey Bill. Hey you're, Darren. You're live on the air. I'm out at the beach. We got we got we're doing a we're doing a uh what do you call it we're from the beach? We're doing you're, uh, it's a remote broadcast. It's a remote broadcast. So I am on Clearwater Beach, I'm watching the sunset. Sun's we're going we're down. With, Cedric's back with, at the station with Imus. And, and, and Casey Kasem. <laughs> Casey Kasem. We got Casey Kasem over at the station today. How you doing, Darren? Casey yeah. Kasem, one of my heroes growing up. I'll yeah. tell you that. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. You know, he's our hero, too. We've been playing. We've been featuring his songs in the show, you know. But we, we brought Ride, Let It Ride just for you. Did you there, it, there it is. Hear it? What's it? <laughs> You let, Isn't I, that, so, that song is great. That's that's the that's the only in America song, yeah, right there. Yeah. How's things, it be? How are things down south of the border? Let me. Well, I, you know, I was uh, all the Fridays are really cause there's a lot of crazy drivers in Houston, but um, what's a, what makes a what makes a driver crazy? Wait till they start driving electric cars. Then what do you think it'll be like? Yeah, I don't see too many of those guys on the road, actually. Uh, they made an electric motorcycle, Harley Davidson, now they got it. It goes 100 miles, and then you got to recharge it. But it sounds like a, yeah. they say it sounds like a spaceship when it, or jet engine, you know? Yeah, that's what scares me. You know, my neighbor had one of those, and I didn't, have, I, had, I can't hear them coming. They don't make a sound. It's it's very scary. that's scary. a scooter. No, the Harley's house. making a, a big, big one, a big motor, full-size motorcycle out of, elect, it's going to run on electricity, electric, batteries, you know. 
We're going backwards. We're going backwards. Hey, did you guys, did you, guys uh, you know, talk about the Donald, the, the uh, this trademark ish? You know, the tra- the, the U.S. taking uh, Redskins. Uh, well, I guess from 1960 to 1990 something, uh, their trademark rights away. Yeah, I read. I I didn't talk about it, but I I was I did it. Did I do that in one of those minutes? I think if I, you, if, maybe I did. It, it but might have been one it. that we did, but we ended we up scrapped, replacing yeah, it. Yeah, we we got another one, but it yeah. wasn't up to our standards. Yeah, well, well, I think I standards. think it's good. You know, it's good for the Indians. What do you? We got a. You know, we need world peace. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I never knew that it, that that was slanderous to to Indians. Uh, All these years of being an NFL just put fan, your, put yourself in their shoes now, uh, Darren. You're the one that is wants to be politically correct. You know. You, you, he wants to be politically correct. Yeah, well, he wants to let all the illegal aliens in. You know, he wants them to get all citizenship. So, you know, we got to work it all the same. What do you think about that? That that redskin, you know, label. How would you like uh, you to know, be Indian and, and have them over there making fun of you? I would love to hear what Cedric has to say because I think <laughs> we talked about it. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I'm just joshing you. I'm just joshing you, Darren. I mean, I. I I think they should be the Redskins. I I love, but I never liked that team anyway. What do you think, Cedric? I I don't know, man. I mean, from I read somewhere, I don't know if it's true, but I read that that, that Redskin was actually something that Native Americans started calling themselves way, 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 way back. Yeah. So you know. Well, what do you know. they what do they call the the Latinos? I mean, they got all kinds of names, labels. I mean, maybe they ought to name the Washington. Um, I don't know, Washington. What else? What are they going to name it if they they don't? You know what? What do you think the new name will be? Guys, guys, what? guys! I think we're missing the point here. I think that we're. I've never seen it when uh, the other owner besides Dan Snyder. I don't think we never had this problem before. Somebody's out for that guy, Snyder, Dan Snyder. For some reason or another, that guy gets a lot of bad press in the, uh, on on the radio. I hear how these, uh, you know. Disc jock, disc jockeys, these talk radio guys, you know, the Bill Conference of the world. They Sometimes they <laughs> get an agenda and they're out to get you. Now maybe Imus, but not me. You know, I'm not, I don't, I don't I'm, <laughs> you might be talking about Imus. You got the wrong, wrong radio or maybe station. Maybe Casey Casey. Maybe Casey would say something like that. But I, I don't, I think it's just the, I think it's just the way we're becoming more and more politically correct in this country. And they're, 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 they're taking away the rights of Americans for free speech, whether you're in business or whether you're not. You know, they want you to say what they want you to say. That's what they do in, in Russia, you know. But, you know, I listen to a lot of sports radio because, you know, I'm in, the, I'm, in the, I'm in the dumpster business and I'm on the road a lot. But, and I hear these, these talk radio, uh, the, uh, these guys, John Feinstein is very popular in, in Washington, and he's tearing apart Dan Snyder every single day. And uh, the, if, if you watch ESPN, they refuse to put Redskins on the screen. They call it the Redskins nickname. Uh-huh. I mean, I've never seen such chaos. And I've never heard of a, a trademark being revoked, you know, before. And maybe that's just because I never really looked into it. But have you guys ever heard of a, a, a U.S. patent or trademark being revoked? Yeah, there probably have been. I, I don't. I can't well, not on of, the grounds of being not you know, a sports r- racially insensitive. Or I don't think I've ever heard of that. I could see the. Because that was know. the grounds for which they were, you know, rejecting the trademark. They say, oh, this is racially insensitive. Yeah, what's the gas price down there in Houston? It jumped, it jumped in two days. These guys make really good money, Bill. Cedric, they, they, I've never seen it. I mean, you can have such an increase so fast. Two days, boom, 10 cents. Yeah. How much? It was 329. It's three, it was 329 and then went to 339. Has your tank, is your you tank full on your truck or you got it full? All the, you get the bunch of, did you buy a bunch of gas cans and fill them up or not? Or maybe a big tank? No. Bill, you call in Houston, Texas. Everybody <laughs> keeps their gas full down here. Oh. Well, that's because Houston's booming, right? It's a booming, <laughs> booming. <laughs> there's right. more. There's infrastructure. But I'm going up. I, I've never seen like I, I've lived in New York for quite some time, but the infrastructure and the you know and the cranes that are in the city that are still building these skyscrapers, but the infrastructure is amazing. I've never seen ramps, these super highway ramps, being built. It is you know top notch. I've, it's it, it's it's something else. Yeah. Well, why don't you why don't you move up here and bring some dumpsters and we'll we'll, we'll build some we'll build some skyscrapers here. Uh, 
Anyway, well, you're I got broadcasting from the beach, huh? Yeah, I'm broadcasting got, from the beach. That's fantastic. The be- Cedric is Cedric. Um, back at the back at. I'm over here laying in one of these cabanas, you know. Yeah. Free food and all kinds hey, of stuff. Perks going can, on, can I, you know. One of my sponsors is paying for it all. Yeah. Can I, can I say one last thing to Casey? Casey, 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 Casey. Is he? Wait a minute. Hold on. Go ahead. Hang on one minute. I have to put my he- headphones on. <laughs> hold on. He's putting his headset on. Casey's back from the grave. All American Casey, top. Di- he didn't really die. That was all made up. That was all publicity stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do the top 40 here at Clearwater Beach. And I'm- Dude, hey, Casey. Casey I, I, this is Darren from Houston, Texas, and I wanted to tell you how excited and, and, and you been with me when my teenage years and and you, I grew up with you Casey and I'm just finally glad like last week I get to meet Imus this week I get to meet Casey, Casey. this show is number one what? only in America baby Casey. Hey, K- hey, K- Casey give him a little give him a little plug for his dumpster business Darren well Darren <laughs> you know Bill really thinks a lot of you and he'd like to send this special request and dedication out dedication to you. This is Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Oh, we should have done people. I can't take my eyes off of <laughs> you. Hey, this goes out to Darren Patrick. Thank you, Casey. You're off back on the beach. Got to take a little dip. You're my hero, Casey. You're my hero. Rest <laughs> Okay, Rest see you later, feet. Darren. Say hello to your family and have a great, great weekend. All right, we will. Don't forget my birthday's on Sunday. Give me a call. Happy birthday, send Bill. Me Happy a, birthday, send me a tra- an Instagram or whatever you want to send me. Just send me money. Money. See you later, Darren. Bye. Turn that radio up a little bit. Frankie Valley. This is the Four Seasons Night here in Tan Talk Radio, downtown Clearwater, Florida. WTAN. Radio station started years and years ago. Used to be down by the water. Had a big tower down there, and then some genius decided to build a new bridge over top of it i don't know the bridge was built by canadians and took the tower down and moved over here a little bit away from it maybe a mile away but that's a good station does a lot of help for people that want to promote their business or they want to now bill, have a business bill uh, you know how you're comes, saying that we're in a, no we have we have a listener who's on clearwater beach right now oh good she uh, says she's listening she's in, uh, under a cabana or whatever she's listening on clearwater uh, beach right now oh good how did she get how'd she get through did, was the line open okay hello have, yeah hello hey how are you yeah I'm, I'm here overlooking clearwater beach and i'm reading a book you guys would probably like it's called all the president's bankers all the president's bankers. Uh, who is it by? Hmm, wait a second. I got to look at that. I didn't. Hold on one second. Are you, are you really on the beach? Well, I'm <laughs> on a balcony looking at the beach. Wow, you're lucky. How do you, are you from, where are you from? Clearwater. Oh, you're from Clearwater. Okay, well, yeah. you're lucky. That's the, name a... is, the author's name is Nomi, N-O-M-I, P, and her last name is Prins, P-R-I-N-S, and it talks about the bankers involved with the presidents going right back to the very beginning, and it really doesn't matter what party it is. Yeah, I know. Well, they didn't have parties. Oh, wow. What they have wigs and twigs back there or something back then? Yeah, and it, you it's know, all about the money. yeah, the well, money's money's. Um, America's a great country, and uh, where are you from originally? Well, I'm from the Northeast. I moved here when I was 24, and that was uh, 1976. So I've been here a long time. But yeah, I, I moved in. I moved in '71 from New York, upstate New York. But uh, yeah, okay. I don't. I do. You still visit? You still go back up and visit? Sure. I yeah. was a, a month in up there last last summer. Okay. I did the okay. New yeah. England tour last summer? It was beautiful. It's yeah. Hot, hotter than here. Yeah, it was. It, it's it gets hot in August. I know, but you know, it's hot right now. My daughter called me the other day. She said it was ninety in Poughkeepsie, where we're from. So it's it <laughs> is a, it, it's a hot. I guess we got to blame it on global warming or something. I but, guess so, or but, something. But we always we always. But they had the coldest winter on on record. You know, this winter up there. So you know, I guess that dissolves that global warming uh, theory. You know. Oh. No, actually, globe. The whole theory is that there's extremes in temperatures: extreme cold, extreme hot, and that that's really the whole bit. It's unfortunate they called it global warming, but because it it doesn't necessarily mean it's just going to be warm. Yeah, it's just yeah. extremes in temperatures. Also, uh, today, you know the the urban. I think it's called the urban 
Leadership Institute. They gave their recommendation on downtown Clearwater today. I think that was the name of the organization. They uh, did a review, interviewed a lot of people in Clearwater, and came up with recommendations for downtown. You might want to take a look at that. Or ah, get somebody I, I just found interview. the news story. Yeah, Cedric's looking up it the says, news. Uh, what's it say, Cedric? It says, uh, outside experts call for Clearwater and Scientology to work together. It's uh, in the uh, Tampa Bay Times this morning. Oh. Ooh, excellent. They did a great job, and, and the people on the, that with that group, they were all volunteers. So they did not have any agendas or... It wasn't about money. It was just an independent group of people who came and interviewed people and came up with recommendations. I was really impressed. Good, good. These I are the guys. City Council listens to them. This is the same group that uh, that did the uh, the assessment of downtown St. Pete, which yeah. I, oh. I I haven't I haven't read what their assessment is for Clearwater, but I did tend to agree with what they were talking about for downtown St. Pete because downtown St. Pete, is, you know, the last mayor really did a great job of screwing up the whole local economy down there. That's my personal opinion, not necessarily that of, of uh, Bill Cochran or the TN Talk Radio Network. Mm-hmm. I don't know, well, but you're from St. Yeah. came out today for Clearwater, so don't feel bad you haven't seen him yet. <laughs> they just came out. Yeah, so. well, I'm, I'm reading the article now. I'm, I'm Let's see. The Urban Land Institute had many recommendations. Build free parking garage for downtown visitors. Bring waterfront restaurants to Coachman Park. Uh, tear down the Harbor View Center and expand uh, Coachman Park. Uh, boost services for boaters on the waterfront, foster the development of more apartment complexes in the district, turn Fort Harrison Ave into a service-based retail corridor with businesses like barbershops and laundromats, uh, turn Memorial Causeway into a work of art with lighting and decorations, create an incubator for startup businesses, assign city assistant city manager solely to redeve- redevelop downtown, yada, yada, yada. How about food so trucks? So well, food trucks. Any food trucks? Some- and there's I've, some devils in the details there. I mean, they're missing, there's some of the details are, for example, that that boat, that marina should also include um, kayaks, paddle, you know, people that don't necessarily have a motor boat. That's yeah. missing down there. Yeah, that's some, politics. You need to go to the meetings. Do you go to the meetings, the, the meetings when they have them at the city hall? Or not? I go. I go every so often. I show up at the podium, but you yeah. know it gets really tiring. I know. I know it's to, time, but to, it's nice to when talk. When you go there, they automatically assume you're there to create trouble instead of well. well that doesn't. You that's you that's feel welcome. That's what America is all about. You know, we got to have our voice heard, and you're here. We're hearing yours right now, and I appreciate well, I you calling say, and and. Yeah, t- I just want to say their recommendations were good. I'm not. I thought. I thought it was wonderful. So you know, don't be too down on it. Oh, All right. I, I'm not. I don't even live in Clearwater, so oh, you know. But I like I Clearwater. I don't but, either. No, I'm not down. Well, <laughs> anyway, thank okay. thank you. So much. What's your, what's your if I may ask? What's your name? Your first name? Oh, I'd rather not even give it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> we can we can do anonymity. That's okay. That's okay. Well, thanks for thanks for calling. We're getting we're running welcome. down at the end thanks of the show. For your show, it's yeah. fun. Tune we'll, in. Okay, we'll call call back again. Okay. Read the book of all the president's bankers. Okay. We'll do. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. See, isn't that nice thinking about her? She's on her balcony with her with her little transistor radio. I know. Listening, I know. Listening to us. And I'm, I, over, I, I'm over here on the beach, you know, under my cabana, right? I, I was I was intrigued. I wanted to know more. I wanted. I, I know. I know. I, I didn't mean. To, I wasn't trying to sound creepy about it. Oh, I know. Well, I was, you don't. I was just intrigued. You don't. I was thinking. I was thinking. Like I said, I was thinking. Casey, about this. Casey probably would have sounded a little creepy if it was. This, did you, is this, Casey still here? Well, <laughs> I was thinking about this fine young woman <laughs> no, you, sitting on her balcony with okay. a cocktail, <laughs> listening to Tim. Okay, let's get, let's send a song out. You got any songs let's, left? Let's send, send a song out to the uh, mystery woman who called the mystery in. woman. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> number. One in American 1967 uh, goes out to Cedric and his and his uh, uh, whatever. Send it out to Heidi. <laughs> this is Heidi. Send it out to Heidi. Yeah, I love Heidi. the I love this song. You know, Heidi, if you're listening, I love it. I love there you go. I love Aww. you too, Heidi. Who's Heidi? <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I never. T- I don't. I don't talk Heidi, about her enough. Okay. He loves she's you, a, Heidi. She's a very beautiful Heidi, woman. Heidi loves you, wherever you are. <laughs> anyway, he's working his way back to you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What a group. I saw their play a couple months ago over in Tampa. You they know, Frankie Valley kind of looks like Casey Kasem. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Talks like him, too, and he walks like a man. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't write any of the songs. 
One of the one of the other guys wrote most of the songs, but it's quite a story about the way they they started in Jersey and they, you know, Matt and Joe Pesci's um, Joe Pesci was related to one of them. I think he was a cousin. In fact, he's in the in the oh, movie. Oh wow! One of Joe the guys. Pesci. One of the guys in the Four Seasons does look like Joe Pesci. Yeah, well, Joe Pesci was a was a, a cousin of one of them. Wow! The real Joe, um, the guy, the Goodfellas. Remember Joe Pesci, yeah. the Goodfellas. What was that other movie played in the one? Oh, uh, Vinny, my, my, my cousin, cousin Vinny. Vinny. Yeah, he's yeah. quite an actor. He's kind of scary, you know. But well, he was in some other movies, but a lot of movies. Wasn't he in um, Home Alone? Yeah, he Home played one of the burglars <laughs> with the gold tooth. Yeah. With the gold tooth. 866-826-1340, the Bill Cochran Show. If you're sitting on Clearwater Beach or if you're on your balcony <laughs> with a drink and, and your transistor radio. 727-441-3000 as well locally. 866, you could call all the way from China, I guess. And we put you on. We'll do, we'll do it anonymous. On. It'll be uh, can be anonymous. This show is live on the. What is it? Live. Tell them about where it's, where you can well, watch it on the computer. You can you can watch online. You can see uh, this handsome man here, Bill Cochran. Yeah. I mean that in the in the. We'll get a picture. Most... We'll get a picture of Cedric. He's a lot more handsome than me. <sighs> I don't know. A lot really younger. Know. Yeah. We got to get a picture of you over there. I'm <laughs> fat. I'm fat and lazy <laughs> and, and pudgy. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so yeah, you can watch online at tantalk1340.com. And uh, YouTube, if you go to YouTube and type in Bill Cochran and or the Only in America Minute, you'll find all the video. You can watch all of it. It's all yeah. archived. We're on every day, Monday through Friday at um, 9 o'clock and noon. When we remember Actually, to play 12 it. 12.03, when they remember to play it. Yeah, 9 yeah. o'clock, 9.03. And noon and right after the Rays report. That's not on. Uh, that's see, I don't, I shouldn't. I'm not trying to throw people under the bus. Lee always gets it right. The new guy, he's he's working on it. Well, we're that's still okay. working on the new. Well, guy. that's all right. I appreciate it being on there and trying to see branch the phones out are into, going. Into, phones uh, are going off other, the other other areas. So if you got any other ideas, give us a call and um, you could email us uh, Bill Cochran seventy six at yahoo dot com. Uh, Bill Cochran, 76 at yahoo.com. And <clears throat> we're kind of winding down the show, and we've been on here for uh, four or five months. And you got a call? It's Rob again. Oh, uh, Rob. We don't have to put him on. I was just. Ah, you can put him on. You can put him on. Right. Wait, wait a minute. Let's play another song. Okay. Well, I'll get. Hey, Bill, play some Nickelback. What's Nickelback? I don't know it's that. A, it's an awful band. Nickelback it's terrible. Rules. All right. All right. Who's that? He's gonna, he, maybe Cedric will pull one up. Hang on. Oh, the phones are going now nuts. Now the phones are going Hang crazy. On. Now we're giving out that number. Hang on. Uh, oh, it's pizza. It's, we got a uh, avocado rocker on the line. Who else is on? Any? Who's ca- calling uh, back? Avocado rocker. Yeah, all right. Tony. Hello. You're on the air. Hey, you're, Tony. You're, you're on the Bill Cochran show. Don't have very show. long. You always call at the end. What do you got, Tony? How you doing? Well, I've been busy. i got an echo in my ear. Okay, I can talk now. No, I've been busy uh, organizing. Good, good. It's my birthday Sunday, so send me a card, will you? You can drop it off here at the station. You got another call? Well, he, he's, uh, yeah. Who's hey. your birthday song? Oh, he wrote Happy you a birthday, birthday. song. Happy <laughs> birthday. All right. Thank you. That sounds Latino. All right. I'm hang, Irish. Hang, hang I'm on, Irish, Tony. Hang on the line, Tony. Irish. We'll get, we'll get Tony, back hang with on. You. We'll be back to you. Let's, uh, let's go out to uh, Mike Arnold is on the line. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Mike's up. Where are you? Bill. Hey, Mike. How are Bill you? Cochran. Hi, Mike. How, I, am, uh, how? I am fine, Bill. I am actually on the road in Annapolis, Maryland, uh, in part to play some tennis. I'm right by the Naval Academy, and in part my drunken friends and I are trolling for South African au pairs who are looking for middle-aged sugar daddies of modest income. That's good. Well, so, that's only in America. Can you do that? Trip. You got your you got your white ducks on over there by the academy, by the naval. Yeah, I don't think anyone is mistaking me for a former midshipman because uh, I'm kind of just more like a hobo dropout, maybe from the merchant marines or the coast guard. Yeah. But, you know, it's a beautiful day here. It's one of those rare. For the mid-Atlantic, low humidity, late spring, early summer days. So I'm sure it's probably a little more comfortable than it is in my beloved Clearwater. I was going through withdrawal, so I thought I'd call in 
with my Norman Bates catharsis of the week. Do you have a second? No, we don't have much time. How, how many seconds? Can well, you... I just wanted to see if you talked about this, about how, once again, the Constitution and the, the way of life in free market capitalist United States of America was flouted on Wednesday when the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office revoked the patent for the Washington Redskins uh, name and logo. I know we were, we, just, we, were, we were just talking about that. I, I don't believe it's legal, but they're gonna, they got to sue to, to keep, preserve it, you know, and they will. It'll cost them a lot of money, but they'll probably end up, the sponsors will probably pull out, and that's probably what, where they're going to get them, you know. Well, the thing that bothers me is the hypocrisy of the whole thing about how people were never upset about Redskins. I've actually, poll after poll has shown that over 80% of Native Americans think it's much ado about nothing. And actually, one historian without an ideological axe to grind has, come on, has gone on talk shows and said that Redskins used to kind of be a badge of honor, a flattering term, almost for warriors, honorable warriors, almost like the way no one gets pissed off if someone says he's like a Navy SEAL and says it's demeaning because he's being compared to uh, an amphibious creature. I mean, it, it's just convenient to be upset and victimized all the time. And I don't think it's a coincidence that Daniel Snyder is a renowned Republican who's donated to Republican causes and Republican candidates. It just seems like it's convenient outrage, and you're going to have people bootlegging uh, T-shirts and everything in the park. I know, I know, you're, you're right, but they, they haven't won yet, so maybe they'll push it back, and hopefully the sponsors will stay with the Redskins. I mean, I think people got to... People got to flood the the airwaves or the Congress or the Senate, and they got to make phone calls about this and be upset because it is a speech issue, and it never got it never should have happened. There's no question about All right, it. So, what's this guy's name again? Daniel Snyder. All right, think about this. Think about this. All right, I'm just going to throw this out there. We'll go over the top a little bit. All right, Daniel Snyder, Donald Sterling, both DS initials, and both billionaires. Think about that. <laughs> Think well, about both, that. Both, but, Snyder, but Sterling was a Democrat, and it, but he's got dementia. See, when you get dementia, yeah, you got a good excuse to say the well, kind of things. Giving, this is giving me uh, <laughs> political outrage dementia because I always thought America was about speaking your mind, First Amendment, uh, well, it is. private sector, free market economy. If you're a millionaire and you work hard and you don't break any laws. Well, it is, it is. It is, Mike. But you've seen what's happened in the last eight years or six years or even 10 years. It's happening in America everywhere. And it's not just that. That's just one part of this whole dilemma we're in as Americans. And people like you and me and Cedric and other people have to speak out against this because Remember, there weren't that many people signed that Constitution, but they, you know, they had to give a lot just to get the Constitution preserved. And, you know, it's an uphill battle, but we can win because we are the champions. They were very, they were very clairvoyant about knowing the evil that men do. Uh, I forget what statesman said, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And said that you might be onto something with the initials DS. If I were uh, best-selling romantic Pablum for women author Danielle Steele. I'd be a little worried. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, I know. Play that. <laughs> that we, play that. We are the champions on the way out. Okay. Hey, Mike, how's the weather up there? I heard it's hot. Is it hot? Well, it was. Yeah, Wednesday it was. Uh, I, I cut my grass and went for a run and almost needed an IV bag. It was 96. Okay. And humid. But today in the Washington D.C. area, which is where Annapolis is located, it's amazingly low humidity. And it, I'd say it's about 83 right now. All right, we'll take a so, trip down to the the Capitol and say hello to all those wonderful congressmen. They got a seven percent uh, approval rating now. So, but we got to get going because we're running to the top of the hour. But give us a call well, next week, okay? Call me again. I will do that, and I'm amazed that seven out of a hundred people think they're doing a good job. A- <laughs> Looking at the dome here, though, and Bill, I'm just like you. We have. Uh, a free country, a democracy, and I'm proud to be an American, as are you. The greatest country in the world. Right, get a shirt Have that a says that. Here. Okay, you too. Yeah, well. That was a good show. No matter what, we're the champions. We're getting get close to the top, right? Pretty yeah, close. I was going to go over a little bit since everyone else here yeah, does these days. let's just finish this song, you know. That I can finish up now. Yep. Washington Redskins used to be the champions, but now they're the most hated team in America. I mean, come on, you know, you go after so many. What is going on with this country we live in? This America. Hmm. The greatest country in the world. The greatest people in the world. We're the givers. We're the champions. 
We're the country that excels at everything we do. But not in politics. We're hurting. The politicians are hurting our reputation, people. But you have the ability to change in November. You can vote. Hey, you voted them in. So it's your fault, really. Don't blame the congressmen. Don't blame the senators. And certainly don't blame that wonderful president. If you vote Hillary Clinton into the White House in two years, you have really lost it, America. You really have. And I really do think a woman should run against Hillary just to make it fair for her. You know, Republicans get a good woman, a woman from the Republican Party to run against that wonderful one from the Democrat Party. Let's see. (laughs) Let's make it fair. And if libertarians want to get involved, maybe Ron Paul has a friend, a woman friend. (laughs) Who knows? Maybe even Donald Sterling's wife would want to run. Oh, no. Who knows who wants to run? (laughs) But anybody but Hillary. And I shouldn't say that because I've never met her personally. But I know who she's married to. And that gives me a good point. You know? So, America. God bless America. Have a great weekend. And... Thank you, Cedric. Good night. WTAN, Clearwater, Tampa Bay. WDCF, Dade City, Tampa Bay. WZHR, Zephyr Hills, Tampa Bay. Listen.